Today we are going to learn how to connect PostgreSQL database to Python program. As a matter of fact, there are several Python modules such as PsychoPG2, which will be the module that we will be working with in this tutorial. PsychoPG is the most popular PostgreSQL database adapter for the Python programming language. This is the website for PsychoPG2. You can go ahead and install it via pip install PsychoPG2. And let me tell you why we will stick to PsychoPG2 module. 1. PsychoPG2 is the most popular Python driver for PostgreSQL. 2. It's required for most Python and Postgres frameworks. 3. It's actively maintained. And 4. It was designed for heavily multi-threaded applications. I will assume that you have already installed PsychoPG2 on your computer. And let's go ahead to Visual Studio Code or any text editor of your choice. And let's import Psycho PG2. Before we move on, let's actually create a new database using PSQL or SQL shell, like we have seen in the last video. Server, localhost, database is Postgres, port 5432, which is the default port, username Postgres, which is the super user, and the password. Go ahead and enter your password and hit enter. Then Let's check out what we have in the list of databases. Okay, we still have our master database, which we have created last time. Let's actually drop it or delete it by using the statement drop database master space and semicolon. And it has been deleted. To verify, let's check out the new list of databases and indeed it has been deleted or dropped out of the list of databases. Let's create it one more time. We will say create database master space and semicolon. Okay, so let's check out again and indeed we have our master database added again to our list of databases. Okay, good. So now we have our master database ready to be connected to our Python program. Let's get back to our Visual Studio code. To connect to the master database, we will need to create a connection object so we can create a new cursor to execute any SQL statements. So simply we will say connection, which will be equal to psychopg dot a method called connect and the connect function or method it creates a new database session and returns a new instance of the connection class so inside the parenthesis we will need to specify the postgresql database parameters and to do that we will use a list of keyword arguments so for instance the host which will be equal to the local host the port which will be equal to 54 inside the string 5432 the database which will be equal to the name of our database which is master user which is postgres and the password which is 123456 so to recap the host is a database server address it's either the local host or an ip address the port which is the port number that defaults to 5432 if it's not provided. The database is the name of the database that we have created. The user and password, of course, username and password that are used to authenticate. In fact, I don't prefer this method. This method is not robust. And let me show you a real life practical way for connecting your database to your Python program. So, what we will do is we will need to create a separate configuration file with INI extension. So let's comment this line out. We don't need it. And let's create a file here and I will call it database.ini. An INI file is a configuration file for computer software that consists of a text-based content with a structure and syntax comprising key value pairs for properties and sections that organize the properties. And I will show you the key value pairs and the sections in a minute. 
But let me tell you first why I prefer this method. By using database.ini, you can change the PostgreSQL connection parameters when you move the code to production environment without modifying the code. So in time of deployment, you don't have to change every time inside your code. Instead, you will just make your modifications separately inside your database.ini file. Okay, so as we have here our keyword arguments, host, port, database, user, and password, we will do the same thing inside our database.ini. The first thing that we need to write is a very important part of that file, which is the section or the header. And by default, it's called PostgreSQL. Then host is equal to localhost, database is equal to master, user is equal to Postgres, and the password, this is it. This is our database.ini file. But we are not done because this file is a configuration file that main.py cannot read. So we will need a second Python file. We will call it config.py. And config.py will parse the data inside the database.ini and will return everything here in a form of dictionary. So main.py can read it from the config.py. Okay, so let's go ahead and import from the config parser module and as you can see here, it's a file parser and it consists of sections led by section or header. So the section or the header, which is this one right here, and this is very important. Without it, you will get an error that will say file contains no section headers. We will import config parser, which is the class. Next, we will define a function, we'll call it config. And inside here, we need two parameters, a file name and section. The file name, which will be equal to our database.ini. And the section, which will be equal to PostgreSQL. Let's go ahead and create a parser. So I will create an object, I will call it parser, and this will be equal to the config parser class. Then I want to read the config file, which is the name passed here inside our file name. So parser, which is actually the config parser class, dot read method, and we're going to read the file name. So let me tell you what we want to do. We want to iterate over the file name and return each element inside that file and put it inside a dictionary. So first thing to do is we need to create an empty dictionary. Then we want to get the section, which is PostgreSQL by default. So we want to have a condition. We want to say that if parser dot a method called has section, and this is a verification step because if database.ini does not have a section or a header, we want to raise an exception. So if parser.has section, and inside here, we want to pass the section, which is PostgreSQL. So if parser.has section is true, then the params will be equal to parser.items section. Let's have a for loop to iterate over the params which contains everything inside database.ini. So we will say for param in params, then db, which is empty dictionary actually, the param with the index of zero will be assigned to param with index of one. So this is our way to say that we want to assign each element inside database.ini inside the db dictionary. I hope you're following and everything is clear so far. Else, we want to raise an exception. And inside our string, we will say section and whatever section it is, which is the PostgreSQL, is not found in the and whatever file name we have, in our case, database.ini. Dot format 
and here we will pass the section and the file name. To show you or to give you a better understanding of what DB has right now, let's go ahead and print DB. And let's actually invoke the config function. Let's open the terminal and we'll say python config.py. And there it is. We have a dictionary, as you can see, and it has all the items inside the database.ini file. So this file has been parsed inside the config.py and we have iterated over the database.ini file and assigned all the elements inside the db dictionary. And only now we can read the database.ini file inside main.py because we will import everything from the config.py inside main.py. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do next. Here we want to return db. Let's save that and let's get back to our main.py. And now we can import the config. So from config file, we want to import the config function. It's just a coincidence that the name of the file is exactly the name of the function. So from config file, we want to import config function. So now let's go ahead and create a function. We'll call it connect. And remember that the purpose of this video is to show you how we can connect the database or the PostgreSQL database to our Python program. And connect function will connect you to the PostgreSQL server. So let's have a connection object and we will assign it to none. And the none type is the type for the none object, which is an object that indicates actually no value. So none is the return value of function that don't return anything, basically. It plays the role of a flag somehow. Then we will have our params, and this will be equal to our config function that we have created. So let's print a statement saying that connecting to the PostgreSQL database. And connection, so this will be equal to psychopg class dot connect method. And here, if you remember in the quirks or the double asterisks video, we said that the double asterisk or the quirks or the keyword arguments work with dictionaries. And as this is a dictionary that contains everything inside the database.ini, so we will use the double asterisk params, which is a way to say that we want to extract everything inside the params inside those two parentheses and to connect using the psychopg2 module. All right, now let's go ahead and create a cursor. So we'll give it a name of CRSR, which will be equal to connection.cursor. And if you recall our tutorial for SQLite, it had exactly the same logic. And let's actually print the database version for PostgreSQL. So we'll say print post Gress QL database version and we will use our cursor dot execute so we are executing a statement and the statement here is select and version like that so to actually display the PostgreSQL database server version we need to read the result set so we will have an object or a variable we'll call it db version and this will be equal to the cursor dot if you remember also in our sql light tutorial we had a method called fetch all to fetch everything from the data set so here we will say fetch one not all because we only want to fetch the database version and we will print that db version variable what if we have an error or a problem well, what I will do is I will wrap this code block here in try except code block. So we'll say try and let's indent this code block. And we'll say accept and we'll raise the exception 
I will use the psycho pg2 class or module dot database error as error and we will print that error so this is my way of handling any errors that might occur in the code finally we'll say that if the connection is not none anymore because we initially set the connection to none but after we have assigned the connection to the psycho pg dot connect everything here in the params which means that the connection is not none anymore so finally if connection is not none we will close the connection there is something that we didn't do we didn't close also the cursor which is a very important step two things always that we need to close them the cursor because the cursor and the connection is the communication way between the python file and the database so first we need to close the cursor and then we need to close the connection then we will print database connection terminated so we'll say if name is equal to main let's go ahead and invoke our connect function okay so let's give this a try python main.py okay great so connecting to the postgresql database postgresql database version and then it displayed the version it's version 13 compiled by visual c++ build 1914 64 dash bit database connection terminated great so we are now connected to the postgresql database our master this one right here our master database let me show you very quickly if we have a problem here let's just omit the q and the l save that and let's play again the file so you see here section postgresql is not found in the database.ini file i should probably make a space here just to show you that better so section postgresql is not found in the database.ini file this is our error handling system what we did we raise the exception and it's working perfectly what if we will change the password connecting to the postgresql database then fatal password authentication failed for user postgres this is the code that we have written right here this one except exception psycho pg2 dot database error as error then we print the error and therefore we got this displayed password authentication failed for user postgres okay in the next video we are going to see how we can create tables inside our database i hope you liked the video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video